Oh hi everyone, um, it's good to be back doing videos and today we'll look into simple tenses. Well, um, I understand that I have been doing videos on simple tenses um, ever since that I start this video recording and um, to be honest with you, I'm not an expert in tenses but recently I came across a book that managed to introduce a new idea about the usage of tenses to me so I feel that it's um, it's good for me to share in the video so here am I doing a new series of videos talking about tenses now um, this video requires you to grab uh, to understand this timeline diagram so this timeline diagram is a very simple diagram uh, consists of uh, I would say one horizontal line and one vertical line right on your left it's it represents past this vertical arrow represents uh, now the present moment and the right arrow represents the future so um, in a continue continuously we we'll use this um, diagram to explain the usage of tenses i shall give you an example when we talk about simple present, it's the meaning of simple present. In general, the simple present expresses events or situations that exist always, usually or habitually. They exist now, have existed in the past, and probably will exist in the future. So that is why you see marks across this horizontal arrow or horizontal line. Because uh, it's trying to represent a situation where it always exists. For example, it snows in Washington. Tom watches TV every day. Uh, this is, for example, Tom watches TV every day. It's, it is an habit and uh, it snows in Washington. It's an event that um, happens almost every year. So this is how you look at the usage of simple present days test being illustrated with the use of the timeline diagram. Now, in another case, we will look into the simple pass. You will see a mark on the left side of the horizontal line. So in single pass, um, the meaning of simple pass, we usually use simple pass at one particular time in the past. For example, this happened. It began and ended in the past. So that is why you'll see this mark over here. It only happens. It only happened. Sorry about that. Let me just do it. Okay. It only happened in the past. So let me give you an example. It snowed yesterday. So this event only happened yesterday. Or if you want to use back the same example, Tom watched TV last night. See, he watched TV last night. But if you write, uh, if you describe Tom in using this sentence, he might not be watching TV today or he might not be watching TV in the future. So. We use simple past to represent an action that happened at one particular time in the past. So we shall look at the third usage of the timeline diagram, which is the simple future. So simple future, it's exactly the opposite of simple past. Uh, you see one mark over at the right side of the horizontal line, and uh, we use simple present to represent an event that happens at one particular time in the future. For example, this event will happen. Uh, if we use back the same example, it will snow tomorrow. Sorry, tomorrow. Okay. 
or for example it is going to snow on Tuesday so so in this case for example uh, the first sentence it will snow tomorrow this is an event that will happen at one particular time in the future one particular time in the future so this event might not have happened in the past it's not happening now but it will happen in the future so if you use the timeline I ran let me re-emphasize again you will see a mark across the right side of the horizontal line so in future videos we shall use this timeline diagram to um, you I, I shall say that you will see the usefulness of this timeline diagram in the subsequent video where sometimes you might find it uh, difficult to decide whether you should use a present perfect tense or a present continuous for example so I shall look forward to uh, meet with you again in the next video and thank you very much.